Hey guys and welcome to a different style of video. For this one I'm going to be showing you some of the best budget loadouts that I run myself. What you want to do is if you're new to the game this would be one of the best loadouts you can get once you get past level 5 because the flea market is kind of required for this. So to start off I would always recommend you check the flea market whenever you go to buy stuff. One of the best helmets in the game, a lot of people say, oh nah, the amount of times I've shot people in the head who have an SSH-668 helmet and it ricochets M61, M80, M995, it is actually a pretty decent helmet. A lot of people say don't run helmets, but you know, you do you. I would always recommend running this helmet, you can always trade it out at a later stage for a different helmet. But one of the reasons why I say check the flea market is because you can see here that from Ragman tier 1 it costs 17k right but, but because you get this so often on scavs people pull it up for a lot less as you can see here you've already saved around about 3 to 4k if you buy it as you can see they do sell out quite often I would recommend if you get a helmet that's around about 30 health as you can see they, they do sell out quite often though. But we will just grab this one just for the sake of it. Okie doke, maybe not. Let's just get it straight for Ragman. You gotta be quick enough and be on the ball. The next thing is you need to have contacts. One of the best things in this game is being able to hear your enemy before they hear you. If you're gonna take it slow, then you have, an, uh, you have the opportunity of catching them off guard. And due to lag and desync in this game, you can usually get three shots off before their character reacts and runs off. By then, you should be able to kill them with the gun I'm gonna be showing you at a later stage. But helmets are one of the most important things too. You can see here that people are putting up these are, I think they're tier 2 with Ragman for 12k. People are putting them up for less. So here we go, one for 11k. They were actually for 8k earlier. If you got some of these random items lying around as well, you can do barter trades. These aren't from the trader himself. They're from random people. These are also quite common. Next is a, another body armor that spawns on scavs. Now this is expensive. This is where the most expensive part of the loadout is going to come from. But it is actually level 4 armor. I wouldn't recommend getting anything below 40 when you buy this. So you can see here this is 47. Uh, 0 out of 47. So you will have to pay to repair it. But if you were to get a full one which is quite a decent way down you're going upwards of like 70k so if you look around you can see one's coming up for 19k that's going for here we go let's see if we can grab it there we go we grabbed it so so far this is a decent loadout at this point you can repair it so 17 plus 28 is around about 40 to 50k and there you go you have decent body armor you've got a helmet and you can hear people coming now you're going to think to yourself, well I need a tactical rig and a backpack, that is correct, you also need a gun. Now if you're brand new to this game and you want to make money really easily, a lot of people are going to hate me for saying this, but the Hunter is one of the best and overpowered guns in this bloody game. You can see that you can get this, this gun can two tap geared guys, if you use M61 it can one tap level 6 armor. You can see they're going for crazy cheap 28k and they're, they're always going to be going cheap. These are one of the best guns to use if you're new to the game or you need money easily. So let's purchase this for 28k. Nice. So with this gun, you do need a dovetail mount. Now, uh, sorry, a dovetail sight. One of the easiest dovetail sights that you can get is from Prepper Tier 1. And you can get it here for 9k. The EKP-8. This is a pretty standard sight nothing special about it easy enough goes on there you go this is actually your build done for your gun now personally i like to use 10 rounders so let's get onto the magazines so what you can search is 101 and you can see that the magazines pop up here you have got five rounders and then you've got 10 rounders you can either get them straight from the trader, they usually do go more than traders, usually gun modifications and gun items. 
So you can see here, they do put you back 5k a pop. You only need two magazines for this, and you'll see why in a second. So, you can see that they fit into your pockets here, nice and cozy. Now, I'm going to imagine I have a alpha container, which means I only have these two slots available here. With this loadout, you don't really want to be taking a load of bullets and wasting them because bullets, with these kind of guns, bullets cost a lot of money. So if you search M80, which is a decent all-round bullet for this gun, you can see from Jaeger it's 237 rubles per bullet, or from Skier it's 270. But the great thing about this loadout is that you can be very sparing. So these bullets only stack in a stack of 40 and you got two magazines which mean you only need 60 bullets which put you back 16k. Yes, it is expensive but this is why you have your alpha container because here you go, you've now gammered or alpha containered 40 bullets where you're only going to be losing 20 if you happen to die. And because hunters are so common, all of these loadout is so common that people won't pick it up. They just won't think anything of it realistically because when i see hunter i get frustrated i leave it because i don't want their stuff an ssh helmet is so cheap i don't want to pick that up and the same with the b13 there's a chance of me getting better armor off a player i kill at a later stage and the same again with this helmet this isn't this is this is basically one of the best loadouts you can get now you're wondering about meds i'm guessing so obviously you can get painkillers from therapist at level one for 4k. If it's up to you if you gamma that, it's that's totally up to you. I usually just run it on my pockets. And then I actually search IFAX. Now the reason why I buy IFAX from the flea market is because she sells it for quite a lot where people actually sell it cheaper than what she offers being the therapist. So she sells it for 21k where you can actually get an IFAC for 17k. And that's a pretty juicy thing right here. Now I would actually enter a raid like this. I wouldn't take a bag and I wouldn't take a tactical rig. The only reason why is because one, I can kill scavs extremely easily with this loadout take their tactical rig what why should i spend 10k on a tactical rig when i have the pocket space here and because when you've got a magazine loaded into your gun when you actually reload that gun it's actually just gonna just keep going between these two and you can just manually fill these up by yourself there isn't really any point taking in a backpack because nine times out of ten you're gonna get a scab backpack from you know the, the scavs you kill inside of raid as well as tactical rigs the amount of tritons you see is it's really pointless and one of the best things about this loadout is if you insure everything make sure you ditch their armor for your armor then you're going to get this back in insurance and i'm going to show you i do that a huge amount i'm going to show you my insurance as you can see i do run what i show right here um okay maybe i don't have any armors right here but i do run these helmets an awful lot i do use another type of contacts but as you can see i do main these helmets sometimes i might take in a scav vest if i'm running akms but this loadout i would always recommend to do if you're brand new to the game and looking to get started if you guys want to see this loadout in use, head over to my Twitch channel. I do this run quite a lot, so make sure you come and say hi. And guys, just to make you aware, I am sorry for the audio difference in this video. At the start of the video, I was deep throating a microphone. I wasn't, I literally just had my sound microphone volume too high. I'm sorry about that. But guys, hopefully this brings you some juicy loot. And guys, one more thing I do want to add as well, don't take a scabbard into the raid there is so many times where i have killed a scab boss and got a rebel ice pick from shitterman or whatever the bloody hell his name is and, and basically it's like a gamma even if you die you will keep it even if you bought even if you found it in raid you will keep it once you died so guys thank you so much for watching the loadout doesn't really cost a lot i will put the price down in the description down below obviously it will vary due to how much the flea market is and good luck guys i'll see you in the next video